just going to the den itself. They'll come through. We're going to have to wait a little bit and just because we're cutting right ahead of them and kind of heading to where they eventually going to end up. Becca, you're asking if hyenas hunt or scavenge more often. Well, it depends on the area that you're in. So here in the Sabi Sands, they mostly scavenge, although they will hunt from time to time. And last year during the droughts, we saw hyenas hunting a lot, particularly buffalo. They hunted a lot of them and killed a lot of them. But most of the, the hyenas here are, are scavenging more than they're hunting. In other parts of the world where hyenas are outnumber lions and leopard and their populations are higher, you'll find those hyenas tend to hunt a lot more than these ones. So it just depends on the area, it's area specific, but they are incredibly good hunters. They get this reputation that they don't know how to hunt, but they most certainly do. They're very, very good at hunting and they will be able to, you know, hunt a lot of different things. So they do hunt a lot and, and even here, like I say, we do see them hunting at times. Right, where do you think is going to be best, Vildi? Other side maybe. Sorry? Up here you think is going to be good. So I was wondering about the light, but uh, maybe you're right. Maybe here is going to be better. We're going to have the most clearest view, that's for sure, of what goes on. Now the little ones won't be out yet, so it's going to be as though it's not active because the adults haven't arrived back yet. But as soon as the adults arrive back here, which will be shortly because I can see them already arriving with food, we should get a little bit of vocalizing, we should get a bit of kind of calling and then the little ones will come out and they're going to see food and they're going to be super excited and I think we're going to hear a really nice little soundtrack as to how the greeting goes when mom arrives back at the den so super cool to see and our hyena following up paid off because it's a, like I say the most hyenas that I've seen on Juma in all the time I've been here together they, we've seen a few of them kind of four or five but never six of them together so it's really cool there comes the one now with the buffalo bit that she's got so she's coming through the thicket there we go and it's just the leg of it and, and a lot of skin don't stop there come keep coming no I think she's tired it must be tiring can you imagine how much effort it takes to drag that all the way and she's dragged that from far I mean she's dragged it from north of the boundary all the way along but look at the size of that stomach she is absolutely massive they all are every single one of these hyenas that is arriving here has got these huge bellies and like I say listen Still just greeting one another, they're just checking who's here. So there we go, that's them just greeting, making sure everybody knows who's who.
How cool is that? <laughs> that was absolutely better than I expected. So I was hoping we'd get a greeting and lots of commotion. And we did. The best thing about it is all the ones that are answering from far away. There's probably another three or four that are even further than the ones we've seen answering. And here comes another individual that's just arrived at the den as well. So it's going to be interesting to see the way that Gwen and Ribbon react to all of these other hyenas coming in. So Gwen is with her two little ones. And they are a bit perplexed by all this noise that's happening. Now, Intima was the one that was making most of the noise. And Intima was making that noise because she's trying to get towards the meat. And Gwen was trying to keep her away from it so her little ones could feed. Because remember, Gwen is the one that dragged this carcass all the way to here. Okay, you can see Antima is just feeding a little bit and getting herself sorted. It seems as though the rest of the hyenas are all slowly but surely now arriving. There's another three that have come in, so they're all just drifting in from this thicket. So lots of hyenas, lots of talking. I'm just going to reposition myself slightly so that VM... Has... There we go, that's better for VM, so that he can get... And this should attract all the hyenas in. The squealing that we're hearing, that should get all of them to come in to see what's actually going on and check what's happening. It really is amazing to hear this. You can see Gwen is on high alert. She's just making sure nothing's happening. The rest of the hyenas that are part of the clan are just drifting past us now. So most of them are on the other side of this thicket. Whether they'll come close towards where the cubs are, I don't know. That's maybe why Gwen has just gone towards where the den is and is just... Huh, where are you dragging that to now? Look at the power in that hyena already. It's small, much smaller than the adults, but it's still able to drag that whole thing around, the skin and all. Absolutely incredible. And everywhere I look, more hyenas are just arriving. There's lots of just in the backgrounds, just these kind of heads and little bodies that are making an appearance. But you see how Gwen has positioned herself that she can defend her little ones if any of these hyenas potentially are not ones that she knows. There's one in the background behind her. You can see moving in from the back area. Shame, my girls. It's is it tough to even sit down with a belly like that? Oh, oh, she almost rolled over. <laughs> that is absolutely massive. She must have eaten herself silly at that carcass because her belly is about as big as her rest of her body. How cool is this, though? So it's interesting, though, that the little ones, even though they are able to start eating meat already their first kind of port of call is milk more than anything else so it just shows you that they prefer the milk at this age they want milk rather than the actual meat itself they prefer mom's milk and and sort of checking out what's going on what's interesting is the behavior of all the other hyenas the others are just standing off slightly you can see now they're even starting maybe to depart the scene and it will be interesting when they come in and they start sniffing as to what's going on here comes another one also from the left hand side so it's going to be a busy morning at the den by the looks of things there we go so how many is that now that's a lot of hyenas it seems like six adults and then the three little ones that we all have at the den itself which is quite cool right now we have got a cuteness overload in the form of our little ones that are investigating all these other clan members there's a bit of crunching going on from Intima I think the adults are fairly tired are going to pass out but somebody else has also managed to find something that is very very cute and one of my favorite things to watch in life, and that is a very, very small pachyderm. Cuteness overload, you say? Well, we, Tristan, we...